Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And every last one of us, I mean every last one of us, should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. And he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised, my brothers and sisters. There shouldn't be a day. <clears throat> there should never be a day, my brothers and sisters, that neither one of you should ever go out without thanking Jesus, without praising him, without glorifying him, without magnifying his name, because every last one of us are in debt with him. He don't owe you nothing, my sisters. He don't owe you nothing, my brothers. He don't owe me nothing. That's why I thank him the way I do. That's why I praise him the way I do. That's why I glorify him the way I do. Because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here right now today. If it weren't for Jesus, you wouldn't be here right now today, my brothers and sisters. A lot of people is not even able to say that right now today. But God gave you the strength today. He gave you the ability today. He breathed life inside of you today. And he bless you, bless you with your health and your strength. Now, how many of y'all right now today woke up this morning and gave Jesus thanks? and praise and glory. You can tell me anything. He already know who did it. He already know who praised him. He already know who lifted him up. He already know who exalted, exalted his holy name. And they ain't talking about from your mouth. I'm talking about from your heart. I'm talking about your heart. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us. And he has it in the palm of his hands, and he is working everything out to his perfect will. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, into your life, or even your prayer closet room, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Heavenly Father God, our Father, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks today. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing right now. We thank you, Father God, how you guide us and direct us. We thank you, Father God, how you order our steps. We thank you, Father God, because it is you, Jesus, that is in control. It is you, Jesus, that is in charge, Father God. Father God, you run this whole thing by yourself, Father God. You don't need nobody help, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you know exactly what you are doing right now today. Even though it seemed like things are not working. Even though, God, it seemed like that you have forgotten about us. But, God, you know exactly what you're doing, God. You got everything scheduled. You got everything written down. You got everything that's going to happen on time. Not my brother's time, not my sister's time, not my time, but your time, God. Oh, Father God, you running this whole show, Father God. You running the whole play, Father God. And, Father God, we're going to continue to thank you and praise you and glorify you each and every day, Father God. It doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter what we're facing, Jesus, that we put our faith, we put our trust, we put our hope in you, Father God. Because, Father God, you make all things new, Father God, each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. And there's nothing too hard, there's nothing too difficult for you, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your love that you continue to give us, God. We thank you, Father God, for how patient you are with us, God. We thank you, Father God, that you have us by the palm of your hands, Father God, that you are grabbing us tight, Father God. And, Father God, even... Even, Father God, you feel like that we are slipping away from you, Father God. You grab us and, Father God, put it on solid rock, Father God. And you let us stand right now today, God. We thank you for this word that we're about to receive, this powerful message right now today, Father God. This is going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Father God, that I'd rather be at right now today, Jesus. But right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, give you all thanks, give me all praise, give me all glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Father God. Let your words go out and not return by void today, Father God. Allow your love to move to this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now today. Oh, hallelujah. We magnify your name right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. 
that I know for a fact that you about to show up, that I know for a fact that you about to show out. I believe and I declare the decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that someone's going to be healed today, someone's going to be delivered today, someone is ready to get their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now today. And the Father God, this is your house, the house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right on your platform, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my brother's and my sister's life right now today. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for healing for my brothers and sisters. I'm praying, I'm asking right now today, Father God, for restoration for my brothers and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to open up their eyes right now today, Father God, open up their ears right now today, Father God, to speak a word to them right now today, God, send them a sign right now today, God, watch them and protect them with your angels right now today, Father God. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to comfort them right now today, Father God, lift their spirits up right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, you know exactly what they're going through, what they're facing right now, God. And I'm asking you right now today, God, for help for my brothers and sisters, Father God, because we need some help right now today, Father God. Father God, we're trying and we try, trying, Father God. So right now today, Jesus, we are depending on you. We are relying on you, Father God, and we are expected to hear from you right now today, Jesus. And Father God, I know, Father God, that you about to start speaking right now. I know, Father God, that you about to start working even more harder for my brothers and sisters right now. Father God, I know that you're going to put us at the right place at the right time. Father God, I know that you about to open up a door for my brothers and sisters. I know, Father God, that you about to send them a blessing, a breakthrough, and a miracle right now. It's already done. It's already claimed because I receive it for all my brothers and sisters right now today. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are a comforter. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our minds so we hear your soft, still voice. Holy Spirit, please forgive us for grieving you today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sins today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for never remember our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, because you are making all things new right now. Thank you, Father God, for this opportunity, Father God, that we're able to Thank you and praise you and glorify your holy name right now today, Father God. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters today. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started... <clears throat> It's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't think you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't think you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't think you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't think you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I brag, that's why I boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Today's word is by being loyal. And there's some people out here today, my brothers and sisters, they're pretending to be loyal to you. They don't know what loyalty means. They might have heard of the word loyalty, but they don't know what it means. And we know who they are. It's the same people who we ain't seen in a while. Who probably have done us wrong at some point in their life. And the moment they see us, they come with their fake love. Acting, acting like they're so sincere. Acting like they really want this friendship back with us. Acting like they really want to be back in this relationship with us. But the whole time, it's fake. 
and we can look right at it and tell somebody trying to offer us or give us some type of fake love. You can take that fake love somewhere else and go somewhere else because we don't need that fake love around us. If you can't keep it real from day one, if you can't be solid from day one, we don't want that fake love around us anymore. You can call it how you want to call it. You can take it how you want to take it at the end of the day because I can tell you one thing. Jesus is love. Jesus is not a confused God. Jesus is not a confused person. When anytime somebody can walk out of your life and do you wrong like that, how they did you, there's no way in the world they knew what love was. There's no way in the world they knew what loyalty was. See, they were thinking how Satan came in and entered to their life and allowed Satan to enter to speak words to them to really to turn you over. Because that's all what they did. Because God if God was in them, if God was truly in them, they would have never done you the way that they done you. They would never betrayed you. They would never deceived you. They would never lie to you. They would never sabotage you. They would never backstab you. They would never cheated on you. They would never did it because God is not a confusing God. The only person I know that's a confusing person is Satan. And there's a lot of people right now today, they are operate on Satan's whatever love he said he got for him. Because we know that Satan don't have no real love. Satan don't love nobody. But somehow, some way, they always allow Satan to come in and to whisper in their ear. He show them things to make them think that he got their back, to make them think that he had their best interest. And once everything done, he leave them alone. Then they try to they try to swing the block around or come back in our life. Somehow, some way, and they come up with this sob story. Oh, I was thinking about you. Oh, God told me to reach out to you. God didn't tell you to reach out to me. And I'm going to tell you why God didn't tell them to reach out to you. Because if God didn't tell you first, my sisters. If God didn't tell you first, my brothers, God did not tell them to reach out to you. They're coming back with that fake love because they know what they did was wrong. They know what they did it was not even God itself. You are not loyal. And once you break that loyalty, it's like breaking trust. Once you build it, and if you break it, it's going to take a lifetime to try to get it back. And right now today, I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who I'm preaching to right now today. But somebody's trying to spin the block right now. And somebody's coming to you with a fake love right now today. My brothers, my sisters, don't you buy into that because it's not real. It's not real whatsoever. It's all the way fake. You can spot a person with fake love a mile away. The moment they come up to you and they come with that sob story, automatically you got to say, God, did you send her to, or did you send him back into my life? And watch how God is going to speak to you right then and there. <clears throat> don't you dare ignore God's voice and don't you dare I know God's sign, but he show you what he tell you because God is not a confused God. God did not think of things in the world. He think of things of above. Satan is the only one that think of things that's in the world. They mind and they participation about you with things in the world. It was not above. It was not of God. They were thinking on fleshly things and not the spirit things. That's all it was. They was thinking of things about the flesh. But the word of God tells us that the flesh sticks and holds to nothing but the spirit. It gives life. So the spirit gives life and Jesus is the spirit. Why did that person betray you the way they did? Why did they deceive you the way they did? Why did they backstab you the way they did? Because they were, they were not of God in the first place. But now all of a sudden, they want to say that God told them to come see you. All of a sudden, right now, they want to make it work right now. Why you didn't make it work the first time? We all go through things. We all we all supposed to be adults. We could have talked about this as an adult. But what you did, my sisters, what you did, my brothers, was not of God. Because why? God is love. I know that. You know that. Jesus is love. Satan has no love in him whatsoever. 
They don't have it. And I see it time after time after time how so many people want to spend the block after things don't work out the way they want to work out. When they left us and they did us wrong to go look for things and search for things in the world. And when the world let them go by and they blew by them like the wind, now all of a sudden they want to spend the block. Now all of a sudden they're thinking about you now, right? All of a sudden they miss you right now, right? All of a sudden they want their friendship back, right? All of a sudden they want their relationship back right now, right? Why do you want it now? You had it when you had it. If you was loyal, like you said that you was loyal, we wouldn't be in this position. We would not be in this predicament, not will we? We would not be in this position, not will we? So that let me know that you was never loyal from day one. That let me know that you was never down from day one. That let me know that your love that you had for my brothers and sisters was not even real. It was not even authentic at all. So now all of a sudden you say that you love us, all of a sudden that you miss us, man, take that fake love somewhere else. I'm going to keep it real with you. Take that fake love somewhere else. Get behind me with that fake love. Get behind me with that alligator tears. Get behind me thinking that you thinking that you a real thing, that you're a look. Get behind me with all that. Take that crap to somebody else who want to buy that story. Because there's no love over here with that. Because we know that you don't care about us. We know that you don't love us. We know that. We know that for a fact. We ain't got to pretend no more. It is what it is. I'm just going to be honest with you, my brothers and sisters. You have to know the difference when somebody really loves you or somebody giving you fake love. Some of you right now today, you might be in a relationship right now today that you pour all your heart to this person, but this person not giving you the love that you need back. They even, they're not even trying to give you the love back. The love they're trying to give you is the love of the world. But God wants you to have the, the love of the word of God. Let his spirit move through you. Let his spirit touch you. Let his spirit ignite you. That's what love is. Love ain't going to hurt you. It ain't going to bullshit. you. It ain't going to damage you. It ain't going to deceive you. It's not going to lie to you. It's not going to do you wrong. That's what love is because Jesus is love. Jesus is not confused at who he chose or who he picked. Jesus not confused what dreams and visions he give people because he is a man that he cannot lie, nor a son of man that he can't even change his mind. So if God is not confused. God, why this person so confused all the time? You know why they're confused? Because they're still rocking with Satan. They're still holding his hand. They're still going to the club. They're still getting down with each other. That's why they're so confused. That's what it is. And that's why they're giving you the fake love. My brothers and sisters. But the moment when Satan leave them, all of a sudden they want to spend a block around. And the first thing they say, oh, God told me this. God told me. Stop lying, oh, God. God didn't tell you nothing like that. Because if God didn't tell it to you or didn't show it to you, they lying about it. God going to tell you first. Why would he tell somebody else about something, about your business, when he's going to tell you first? He's not gonna go out. The, he's not gonna go to the east coast, the west coast, the north coast, or the south coast. He's coming strictly to you to let you know who is coming to your life, who's about to show up. He's gonna tell you. He's gonna show it to you in a dream or a vision. He's gonna speak it to you, so you're gonna know who is real, and you're gonna know who is fake. For all these people just coming out of the bushes all of a sudden right now, and and all of a sudden they got all this kind of love for you, all of a sudden they come with these alligator tears, all of a sudden, or they sorry and all this, they want to make it work. No, you don't. Take that fake love somewhere else. Because it's not real. You can get behind me with all that. Because I don't need it right here in the front of me. I really don't. And I know that you don't, my sisters. And I know that you don't, my brothers. It is what it is. Amen? Amen. Let's turn our Bible to Matthew 16. And we're going to read verse 20. That's Matthew chapter 16. And we're going to read verse 20. And if you have your Bibles open at the church, say amen. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block. And right now, a lot of y'all have a lot of people that stumbling block in front of you. They're trying to block your blessings. They're trying to block your breakthrough. They're trying to block what God trying to show you. They're trying to block what God trying to take you. A lot of you right now that you have blessing blockers that's around you. 
and you wonder why things are not happening. It's because you have those type of people around you. Look what Jesus is saying about Peter. He said, get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind mm -mm -mm, the things of God, but the things of men. Even Jesus told Peter, he said, get behind me. He said, you thinking like Satan. You don't have the things that I have in mind. You ain't thinking the things that I have in thought. You don't have the things that I have in my heart. So you're a stumbling block in front of me. Because I'm thinking one way, you thinking another way. And that's what we, that's what some of y'all are going through in friendships and relationships. You thinking one way, they thinking about something else. But all of a sudden, oh, I don't think it's no problem. Oh, it is a problem. Because a fleshly spirit and a, and a, and a godly spirit, they don't work. They always gonna be at odds. They will never see eye to eye because the person is in the flesh. You ain't going nowhere. It ain't sticking in there. It ain't holding them. But the person have the spirit of life. They are going somewhere. God is leading them somewhere. God is taking them somewhere. So y'all two will never clash. Y'all will never work out because this person thinking one way and the other person thinking another way. But they have the audacity to sit there and tell everybody that they love you, that they got feelings for you. You lying. Take that fake love somewhere else because that's all what it is. It's too many of y'all right now today. You're in fake love relationships. You're in fake love friendships. You're in fake love with the people at the church. You're in fake love with people at the job. You have to know and really to identify who's giving you true love and who's giving you fake love. Loyalty is everything. And they can't be loyal to you, my brothers and sisters. It's time for them to say, you know what? Keep rocks. I don't need that fake love around me. You can get behind me right now today. You can actually get behind me. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this word is for today. But if God is talking to you, and you know he's talking to you, start knowing what is real love, what is fake love. Ask God. God, did you send this person back to me? Or are they trying to spend the block? God, I need some answers right now. I need you to come through. I need you to talk to me. Let, let it make sense. And watch how God's going to let it make sense to you, my brothers and sisters. Amen? Amen. And I hope that this word touched you today. I hope this word moved you today. If it did, go and hit Jesus' like button. Go and hit the subscribe button. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. By us praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything got in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfect of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchanged by hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know me. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving in this LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy mighty name. Amen.